Hi folks, I'm Broken Air City Manager Michael Spurgeon. And I'm Communications Director Krista Flash. Thanks for joining us for this edition of City Council Highlights. Here's what happened at the December 19th City Council meeting. We're one step closer to putting sand volleyball courts in at Nienheis Park. Council approved a contract with a designer to produce a master plan for the four volleyball courts plus city parking and amenities needed. This project was part of the 2011 GEO bond. We'll keep you updated when construction starts. We are looking into a new enterprise resource planning software. While most of the benefits of a new ERP system are internal, you may notice some changes too. For example, a new interface when paying your utility bill. We will start switching software systems over in 2020 and will keep you advised of any major changes. Council also approved several construction contracts. This includes parking lot lighting for Nienheis Park, the relocation of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial to Veterans Park, a stormwater diversion system for the Stony Creek area, renovations to the Battle Creek Golf Club banquet facility, and splash pads and playground equipment at a couple of our parks. You can view all the construction contracts approved at this meeting on the agenda at BrokenArrowOK.gov. A new specialty and research hospital will be opening in Broken Arrow soon. Sound Mind Behavioral and Health Hospital provides accessible and affordable comprehensive inpatient psychiatric care for adults and seniors. Sound Mind will be purchasing city-owned land at Aspen and the Creek Turnpike, and they are planning to build a 72-bed facility that serves adults 55 and over. The results of a citizen survey conducted during October and early November are in. More than 2,500 households completed the survey. Thank you for the feedback. The results show a broad satisfaction with most city services and 92% believe the city is moving in the right direction. We also received input on what public projects are important to the community. City staff and council will use these results to select general obligation bond projects for a vote in 2018. We plan to hold some public meetings in February so the community can weigh in on the preliminary project list. View the survey results online at BrokenArrowOK.gov. Congratulations to Vince Snelling for being nominated to the Convention and Visitors Bureau Board. Mr. Snelling is the manager at Stony Creek Hotel and Conference Center. The CVB works to bring tourists to Broken Arrow and encourages guests to stay in our hotels. In Bama, we will be conducting a facilities evaluation of 10 city-owned properties. The evaluation will help us design renovations and expansions and plan any replacements for facilities that may not be functional in the next 30 years. You can view the full list of facilities on the agenda at BrokenArrowOK.gov. In other municipal authority business, a citywide SCADA system will be installed for our sewer system. A SCADA system allows pump stations to be monitored and alert personnel to any abnormal events like power failures or clogs. The system will alert utility workers to any issues that need to be addressed. By fixing small issues in our wastewater system, we can reduce the chance of a larger problem occurring, such as a sewer overflow or major equipment damage. Great job, Krista. I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of the individuals that responded to the citizen survey. We had well over 2,500 response and that's gonna be great for our city. Absolutely, you know, anytime we're talking about spending tax dollars, it's great to get the community's input on what they think is important for the community. As Krista mentioned, the council talked about it tonight and we are gonna start talking about it as an organization in the middle of January, with once again our goal being determining which projects we're gonna put before the voters in, in the summer of 2018. That's right, we'll keep everyone posted. Okay, on to community updates. On December 13th, the City Council and I delivered the annual State of the City Address to the members of the Chamber of Commerce. Overall, we were blessed to have a great year. I spent a portion of the address discussing our financial position. We remain fiscally conservative and are continually implementing best practices for how we do business. Our goal is to remain financially lean, but yet have the resources needed to provide our citizens outstanding public services. I also want to point out that we had an excellent year in the area of economic development, recruitment, and retention. We will not rest on our success and will continue to work hard to keep existing businesses here and to recruit new businesses to our city, especially in the south part of Broken Arrow. We also saw right around 500 new single-family homes built this year, Krista. And finally, I need to mention how important our local partnerships are for our community's long-term success. Thank you to all the organizations that work so closely with us to make our city great. We have so much going on in Broken Arrow and we got a lot of things completed this year. You can watch the full presentation on our YouTube channel. Finally, our One Stop team got into their holiday spirit. Every year, the One Stop employees decorate their office for Christmas and this year, they went all out. 
some of the members of the Development Service Department got involved in this year too. Yeah, those decorations sure look great. That's it for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next City Council meeting will be January 2nd. Have a Merry Christmas, and as always, I hope to see you around town. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to BrokenArrowOK.gov. If you have any questions about the items discussed in the video, please call my office at 918-259-8419 or email me at mspurgeon at BrokenArrowOK.gov.